hi guys welcome to the channel so today we'll be testing horizon forbidden west okay and i got some good news for you the game runs pretty smoothly on this setup it runs at around you know like you'll be able to get 4k 60 with fsr quality and if you are willing to play at 1440p you'll be getting around 70 to 80 fps okay so I, I think that's pretty good but if you compare it with ps5 on ps5 this game has two configurations 4k 60 and 4k 30 and 4k 30 the game stays very close to 4k it's dynamic res but still very close to uh, native 4k and in uh, performance mode at 60 fps on ps5 the game runs at um, the game runs at a resolution which is slightly lower than 1440p then from there it upscales to 4k okay so it's very close to fsr balance there so you can say that ps5 runs this game at 4k fsr balanced 60 or 4k fsr quality 30 okay so on this pc we have 4k fsr quality 60 so you can say at the same settings we are at uh, we are around 30 fps faster than the ps5 which is pretty good though i think this pc is capable of more because a ps5 is essentially at rtx 2070 super and our gpu is more of a 3080 3080 ti somewhere there somewhere in between so yeah rpc is actually faster than a ps5 by 50 fps i think and here we are getting a gain of only 30 35 fps over ps5 so that is that but i believe it's in pretty good shape it's better than most of the games at launch these days crypt triggers are very good in this game in fact the whole of haptic feedback setup is very well done here you know when you yeah, when you'll hold uh, the controller and when you'll walk on different surfaces or Control when you'll do different here. things like attacking monsters or you know hey. releasing a bow or let us say throwing a grenade throwing a bomb using a slingshot you'll you'll feel those little things you'll feel those little differences so that's very that's very good Also, do tell me, guys, if you want to see more, uh, if you want to see Dragon's Dogma 2 on this channel. Currently, I'm not testing that game because it's in pretty bad shape. Okay, and it's getting a lot of negative reviews on Steam because of some microtransaction BS which Capcom has done. I don't know why, what's the thing with it. But uh, the game is not very performant, so I, the reason I haven't tested it yet is because I think there is no need to test it. As of now, we are getting like 30 FPS using a 4090 in cities. So I don't think we should be testing this game for now. But yeah, if you want it, just tell me in the comments and I'll test it. Okay. Man, just look at all that foliage. This game, uh, it has the best foliage I've ever seen in a video. It's, uh, you know, it's very, it's beautiful. You know, the, all that undergrowth and you can see, you know, like there is so much of variety there there are flowers there there are bushes there algae on the tree trunk okay those big leaves the small leaves just shows the amount of time and creativity so many first party studios put in their games it's, it's awesome and on top of that it runs also very good you know
they have improved these uh, little sounds which you get when you s hit enemies when you strike them so feedback in this game is in generally good okay so when you'll hit enemies land hits on them using your bombs or anything okay it will sound better it will sound more detailed more satisfying so yeah there's that improvement there too however walking and jumping feels a bit clunky at times okay it, it feels it does not feel very snappy and it's heading in the same direction we're going great one of those machines Big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. You can see that in most of my recordings, I oh, test 4K FSR quality the most, followed by 4K native, followed by 1440 wind. 1080p okay so the reason i don't test 1440p and 1080p a lot on the setup is because the setup is not made for those two resolutions okay so the thing is at what resolution and at what frame rate you want to play that is best decided by the combination of both cpu and gpu not just your gpu okay so this gpu is a strong but the cpu is good enough only for let us say 60 or 80 fps stocks okay now the thing is i have also underclocked the cpu a bit because it was having temperature and heating issues but uh, the thing is that whenever you lower res in the setup on any of the game you will see that gpu usage will start dropping a bit okay and you won't get a big fps increase big fps boost okay so the best is the best use case for this setup for any setup for that matter is to use your gpu as much as possible which means uh, run at a resolution and at settings so that your gpu usage is maxed out okay and then you decide which cpu you should buy okay to get the desired to get the desired uh, frame rate okay so i for my setup i wanted i have a 60 hertz tv okay and i wanted something which could power 4k native or 4k fsr quality at 60 fps so i went for this gpu because of its vram and because of its pro and then i chose this processor because it was good enough for 60 okay but let us say if you want a 1440p 60 hertz setup then 6700 xt would be sufficient okay not this gpu this is an overkill for 1440p okay similarly similarly if you want more fps okay let us say you are looking for 1440p 120 then you should this gpu is fine for that but you should not be going for this cpu then then you should try to go for an am5 system okay so this is one of the main reasons why 1440p and 1080p settings uh, in my videos they don't get a lot of coverage because i don't think this setup is made for those settings at all it is best made for 4k fsr quality 60 fps only that is its use case okay
Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. What's in here? 